Coming off a uh, Union Series, which has to be disappointing for you, what was your kind of take on the whole weekend? Yeah, it wasn't good enough uh, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, at times we did some good things. I thought we were, uh, you know, a little lethargic in the first uh, half of the first game over there. Uh, still did some decent things in order to give ourselves a good chance to win going into the third period within a goal, and then we made some mistakes. And, uh, you know, we had a little fight back, and we had tons of chances to tie it. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just weren't quite sharp enough. Uh, we turned too many pucks over, I think, is the biggest thing uh, offensively. And uh, I think defensively, we gave up too much time and space. Uh, back in our building on Saturday, I thought that uh, it was a dogfight. Uh, it felt like a playoff game. Uh, there just wasn't a lot of room out there for either team. Not much really happened. Uh, we had the better of the chances on, in five on five. Uh, they had the better of the chances probably in the power play. Um, and, and really the first 56, 57 minutes of that game, you know, we're, we're just a, a dogfight. We had to fight for every inch of ice. And, uh, you know, they made one more play. And then uh, I thought a big difference in the series uh, from their perspective was the play of Shane Gosterspear. Uh, I thought he was uh, just dominant uh, over the weekend. And, uh, you know, we didn't uh, do a good enough job being able to contain him. And, uh, and he hurt us in a lot of different areas. Now through this week of practice, heading into a non-conference week, do this is, do you think this is a good time to play a non-conference series? Seems like, seems like it comes at a good time for you guys. Yeah, I guess I don't care. Um, you know, I've said that before. I, I yeah. just don't uh, put any stock. It's a great question. It is. and It's been asked of me this week. I just don't care. Um, you know, it's the next game of the schedule. I mean, this could be, you know, we could be playing Boston College or, or uh, you know, Minnesota, the number one in the country. That, 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 you know, we could be playing a league game. It's the next game on the schedule, and so you prepare for it as the most important game of the season because it is. It's the most important game. It's the game in front of us. And uh, um, it's going to pose a lot of challenges this weekend. Um, you know, we're in their building. They, you know, being an Atlantic League team, they don't get as many top 15 teams coming in. So uh, they're off to a real good start uh, in conference play. They've beaten Niagara already. They've beaten RIT already. Those are two powers in that conference. They're predicted to win their league, so this looks like a team – uh, that is capable of being a national tournament team. So uh, on the road, we're beat up. We've got some injuries, uh, and we're playing a good team on the road. It's, it's going to be a challenging weekend. Uh, Scott Diebold continues to play pretty well. I know you have the four goals in each game. Uh, how do you think he's been playing throughout this entire season? Well, I think he's done a real good job for us. You know, at the end, eight goals is too many uh, on, the, on a weekend. Uh, and that, that's not just on him. That's on our team defense and, and Scotty. Um, you know, that's too many. We, we need to be a two-goal or less team. That's how we're going to win. Um, you know, so I don't think uh, on Saturday maybe he was uh, as sharp. Uh, but, you know, he's been really good. Uh, no issues with Scotty. I think he's given us a good presence almost every night in there. I know you took nine penalties, I think, on Saturday. But what is your kind of critique of the, the penalty kills recently? Uh, well, it wasn't good enough this weekend. It, it, you know, their power play uh, outwilled our penalty kill in some key moments. Uh, too, but you can't take that many penalties. Uh, some of it is the way the game was officiated because there's a lot of penalties both ways. Uh, it, it made the game uh, uh, extremely choppy, um, especially on Saturday. Uh, I thought that uh, I thought that the officials called too many penalties. Uh, I thought there's a lot of penalties called on both teams that didn't need to be called. But but you have to adjust to that, and we took. We added on to that, so maybe there's two or three that didn't need to be called, so then we add on to that with another three or four that don't need to be taken. And so there you're, you're at seven or eight penalty kills uh, in one night against a good power play team. It's just it's inexcusable. And, you know, guys that, uh, guys that take uh, those kind of penalties late in the game, which I don't like, uh, guys that take, you know, three, four minors in a game, I mean, that, that's, it, we can't happen. And those guys just, their ice time will be taken away or limited uh, because we need guys that are committed to playing team hockey and, and uh, uh, to making sure that we're uh, not putting yourself at a disadvantage like that. And finally, Coach, uh, you said you've seen, seen a little bit of what Mercy Hurst has done. They're a good team. What do you know about them as far as on the ice and what they kind of like to do offensively, defensively? Well, you know, it's a great program. You know, they were a Division II power um, that was competing for national championships every year. They made to move up to Division I. They're, they've been to the national tournament multiple times, you know, over the last 10, 15 years. Um, they're at the top of that league every year. They usually win 18 to 22 games almost 
consistently. And Rick Gotkin, I think, has won you know near 500 games in his career. So uh, they're a really good program that that is good every year. And this team is older, and they look like they're a national tournament contending team. They're fast. They're aggressive offensively. They take some calculated chances offensively. They play a little bit of a different style in terms of how they like to attack offensively, but also how they defend in the D zone, something you don't see all the time. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see how quickly we can adjust to it. Obviously, we did play them last year. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, – and then their goaltender, uh, Jimmy Sargent, uh, I think has won uh, goalie of the week in their league, you know, two or three times already. So uh, it's going to be a challenging weekend. And, and at the end of the year, these are going to be important games. I, I really believe Mercier is going to be a 20-win team and a potential national tournament team. And uh, these are games that, uh, that are going to be very important when you start tabulating up things at the end of the season.